my name is Mrs. Doris Wright, and I'm here on behalf of Mrs. Patton and the Food Advice Division of the Ministry of Food. The Ministry would like us all to live as well and as healthily as we can. So today, I'm going to show you how to make your rations go just a little bit further. But first, a reminder of how important our ration books are. We've been under rationing five years. Taking yours and your family's ration books to the grocer has become second nature. Remember, this is all for the good of everyone and will help our boys win this war. Using your rations, your coupons and your points wisely without grumbling is doing your bit. No sour faces in the kitchen. If you would like ideas of what to cook, then look out for pamphlets from the Ministry of Food or demonstrations like this. Today, I'm going to show you how to make potato scones. I've already added a pinch of salt to my flour. I'm not overly keen on a lot of salt. Some baking powder and, of course, mashed potato. These all now need working together well. Now for scones, you really do need to rub in the fat as evenly as possible. This recipe is from Potato Pete's recipe book, page 7, but I believe the details of all this recipe and the method will be at the end of this broadcast. As flour is so hard to get hold of nowadays, and what with fat being rationed, the potato here helps both of these go a long way. Now you need to add the milk by stages. You don't want to work the mixture too much. We're not kneading it into a dough, but it does need to have a nice soft doughy appearance at the end. Remember, your weekly rations are bacon or ham, four ounces, meat, a pound and two shillings worth, two ounces each of butter, cheese and tea, fat and margarine, four ounces, occasionally two ounces, three pints of milk, eight ounces of sugar and one egg. Preserves, a pound every fortnight, sweets, 12 ounces every four weeks. Tin food and dried food, including beans, are 16 points a month. So this recipe will really help things go a long way. Now you need to gently rub it out until it's about a quarter, a quarter inch thick. household I have my ration book, a junior ration book and a child ration book and occasionally I also can pull the coupons from a lamb girl who comes to lodge with us once in a while which is rather useful. Now need to go into a hot oven for about 15 minutes, but I would keep an eye on them if I were you. These are savoury scones. If you wanted to make them sweet, then just add an ounce of sugar.
have been laid on a greased baking sheet and now I'm going to give them a little coating of milk before they go in. are a delightful little treat for tea, or would actually go rather well with my rabbit stew. I do hope that you have found this demonstration informative and educational. Do look out for more from your local food advice centre and the Ministry of Food. Potatoes are very easy to grow and give a good crop for a very small amount of land, so we recommend that you continue to dig for victory and grow some in your garden. Remember, Potatoes feed without fattening and give you energy. Goodbye.